Hello everyone, Flop City 6 once again, welcome back to my blind playthrough of Yoshi's Woolly World. Um, in the last video we watched the intro cutscene and Cam came along and turned all of Yoshi, Green and Red Yoshi's friends into yarn. Um, I do so I do apologise for talking excessively over that cutscene and uh, not talking about the game itself. Um, but um, yeah, anyway, I'm just about to embark on World One. But before I do, I'm going to see if my Yoshi amiibo does anything. Put your Yoshi amiibo to to what in the course? Oh, have another Yoshi join you. Double Yoshi equals double fun. Okie dokie. Well. I'll be checking that out uh, momentarily then. I see. So we have to start with 1 1 by the looks of it. Ooh, I'm so excited. <laughs> so let's start. Ah, I see. Oh, what well, nice. There's stamps in these levels as well. I was aware there'd be flowers in these levels, but I didn't think there'd be stamps as well. That was, that's what defines the Wii U, though, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, sorry for dwelling on things, anyway. Um, this playthrough is so blind that... Um, oh, there's me first posts already. That's interesting. This is supposed to be the day before release. I mean, it's not even anywhere. Oh, hello. Can you press down on it? You can press down. I think you can press down on the D-pad as well as the, the left stick. That's pretty good. Oh, that's pretty easy. That's a pretty easy flower to collect. Hmm. Yeah, you can definitely use both to swallow eggs as well, which is pretty good. Okay, okay. I'm gonna see what the speech bubble does. Go up an enemy with B, then. Yeah, you just told me how to do that pretty much. You even put prompts on the screen just like that middle picture there, just telling me how to do it. It sure is easy. Okay. Oh crap. Okay. That's a little bit different to Yoshi's Island. I'm used to I'm used to being a, I'm used to you throwing an egg at egg and at a piranha plant. And he just disappears. But obviously you didn't do that. Okay. You can turn presents into eggs as well. Okay. Not to the flowers, obviously. But it's nice that a flower popped out to say hello. I'll try this again. See what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, I see. You, you then uh, you destroy them once you. Uh... Okay, sorry for dwelling on that bit, folks. I'm just trying to get used to the controls because. Um... Hello. <laughs> he swallowed that automatically, just as a FYI as well. I didn't even need to press down for that. Let's see how this goes. Okay. So if enemies are tied up, you, they're they're vulnerable to be attack if you can't normally jump on them. That's pretty handy. Can I go down these pipes? I've got a force of habit in Mario games in general. Just I know this is not a Mario game technically, but oh, I found a stamp there. I found three already. No way. Okay, they're hidden among those. Uh, they're hidden among those things there. Okay. So the stamps are hidden among those yarn ball things. That's interesting. It's like red coins technically, because you don't know which coins in the game are. Well, they're not yarn, they're, they're jewels. Obviously I know how to flutter jump. Can you ground pound? Yes you can. Oh, I like the animation there. He turns into a drum. He turns into a drum for a very brief moment. That's pretty cool. Well, there's, there's the fifth stamp. 
Okay, the stamps are clearly replacements for the red coins because you get 20 of the things as well. I didn't bother using that speech thing because I knew exactly what I was going to say. I'm just going to prove it to you. It's going to tell me how to flutter jump. Yep, I was right. <laughs> I love being right. Sorry for making assumptions about the fact that you've played Yoshi's Island, but um, if you don't know what red coins are, um, basically there were red coins that were hidden among the yellow coins that were in the game, but obviously they've replaced it with jewels and they've hidden stamps in the jewels this time. So, um, Just uh, FYI there. Yeah, I see. And they were like egg dispensers in Yoshi's Island as well. So I didn't read what that thought bubble said there. Okay. I've been using the uh, the Z the ZR button, not the X button, but because I'm used to it being L and R in uh, Yoshi's Island. I see. Ah, oh, nice, you can make platforms out of the yarn. And when you see there's not things, you can unveil hidden paths. Hmm. I'm liking the concept in this game, actually. It's been very impressive so far. So I'm just a very explorative type folks. I'm sorry if I'm dawdling a lot. I'm just hoping for a hundred. I'm just hoping for a hundred percent on this level. Okay, that clearly must be coming through from the other side then. Oh, nice. That must have been a that, that must have been a halfway ring, sort type thing. Yeah, there's a lot of similarities to you if you saw in this. So. The things that are surprising me are not shocking me at all. Okay. Okay, there's a hidden path there. It's nice that they turn into eggs as well. I've got to stop calling them eggs. They're yarn balls. I'm probably... Just, I'm probably... Oh, shit. Oh, crap. So I wasn't looking even looking at the screen there. I wasn't expecting shy guys to pop out at me. I'm curious about that yarn thing that uh, I'm curious about that yarn thing that you saw earlier at the top there, but I didn't seem like I can get back up to it now. It's over here. Nothing. <laughs> looks shiny and pretty though. It looks like it's made out of uh, it looks like it's made out of craft stuff this level. It looks beautiful. I mean, you, you can just see those little glittery things that you see on craft work and put that you put so, you put on your mum's birthday card or something when you make it yourself. It looks pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I'll show you what I mean. I think there's a yarn. I think there's a yarn thing over here that I can't get to. Yeah, I can't get to that for some reason. I'm guessing that's something really special that I can't get access yet. But like I said, folks, it's a blind. Oh, my bad. Didn't realise there'd be two pipes into this area. Yeah, this is supposed to be a blind playthrough anyway, so I'm not going to. Oh no. I can't believe I just did that. No biggie. It probably just means we are out to collect, recollect everything that was in that lower area, which I'll now do as quickly as possible. Oh crap. Oh yeah, gotta go this way as well. I like those big yarn things, like they bounce around. Yeah, there's 
five yarn collectible things in this level as well, in addition to the flower collectibles. A lot of collectibleness in this game, I'm loving that. It's pretty good actually. How on earth was I not looking forward to this game? I was probably just, I've always just too distracted by Splatoon to be honest. Yeah, gotta be very careful as well because uh, it's hard. It's hard to know when Yoshi's uh, got something in his mouth or not. Okay, so this time I'm not gonna fall. There doesn't seem to be any interactive interaction on the gamepad screen. That's the only thing I seem to. I, that's the only thing I. That's the only thing that seems a bit uh, lacking at the moment. But. I guess it's all good because games that rely too much on the gamepad and don't really show very well on YouTube. <laughs> Ooh, that was a nice shot. Yeah, well, I know where that second one is, but I just can't find it. I just can't get to it for some reason. I see. A hidden cloud. I do apologise for taking the taking the mick on this level a bit, folks. Not all levels will be this slow. I'm just taking my time and enjoying the scenery. Okay, so that's kind of like stars in Yoshi's Island, I'm guessing. You have to get up to 30 of them to usually to get the 100% requirement for the level. secret over there. And the last yawn. Oh crap. Yeah, I need fell then. I have to be careful. And we're on 18 out of 20 stamps. I'm guessing this is the end of the level. Yeah, and it's just like Yoshi's Island in the fact that it's got a ring as well. I like the way I like the way the camera turned just then. Just so you could see where the ring was. I'm guessing I did not get a bonus stage. <laughs> I like the way he walks across to the scoreboard as well. Okay, so you had to collect 20, 20 instead of 30 of those. Uh, well, they're called heart. They're hearts on this, but they were stars in Yoshi's Island. And I got 80 out of 20 stamps. Wow. Oh well, that's pretty far from 100%. It doesn't give you a score at 100 though. No, I can't help notice then. Anyway, let's see what happens now. I never touched a Yoshi amiibo, did I? I'll try that in the second stage because um, I uh, did not did not think to use it. Anyway, that concludes. All right, okay. You got a power badge that lets you skip courses. Use it in mellow mode. Yeah, I don't think I'll be using that. <laughs> well, to be fair, that was. Pretty, that was pretty hard for a first level. I was expecting it to be a little bit more straightforward than that. They threw a lot at you in that level, I must admit. Alright, anyway, in the next video I'll be tackling 1-2. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. And there's my update stats there for you.